It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Dallas Cowboys and the Cleveland Browns. And it comes your way next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Cleveland Brown Stadium on the shores of Lake Erie. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gauden. Now, Charles, you and I, we've done a lot of games together. It always seems like we're rehashing the same storylines. Turnovers, of course, always a big story. Quarterback play, running backs, yada, yada, yada. But getting ready for this one, one word kept coming to mind, and that's preparation. Well, it's critical to be prepared physically, mentally. When you think about getting ready for an NFL game, you have to wonder, what will they throw at us that maybe we haven't seen before? two-minute drill, maybe different things like that. Got to be prepared. You're exactly right. Well, the kicker, Brandon Aubrey, is out to get this one started. And off we go from Cleveland. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So here come the Browns for their first drive on offense. Leading the charge will be their quarterback. Always fun to watch, Deshaun Watson. And after two consecutive seasons where he played in just 12 games combined, they're hoping that this is a year where Watson finally shows that he was worthy of that massive contract they received back in 2022. Not that long ago, we're talking about him as one of the top quarterbacks in the league. And if he gets back on track, this team can make some serious noise as the year unfolds. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. No daylight for him to run through there, and he ran into the defensive tackle. And that guy blocks a whole lot of daylight as it is. He is truly a big man who just made a big play. Now we'll play fake, and it's Watson. Oh, his first throw of the game. Going to be intercepted. Picked off by DeMarvian Overshone. And he is going to bring this back inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. Brandon, I wonder if someone's down there checking on the head coach right now because he might be in a little bit of shock after what just transpired. Instead of a lengthy opening drive to deal with, his guy stepped up and stole that drive away. Momentum on their side now. How will they attack on offense? Well, the Cowboys making their way out behind the NFL's leader in touchdown passes for 2023. In his ninth season now, Dak Prescott. And he's coming off one of the best seasons of his career where he finished as a runner-up in the MVP chase after throwing for over 4,500 yards, 36 touchdowns, and less than 10 interceptions for the first time in a few years. An integral part of the Cowboys' run to the playoffs, he's hoping to take it a step further here in 2024. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. Play action now, Prescott. Touchdown, Cowboys! Brandon Cooks, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Great field position has to be one of the best friends an offense can have. When you don't have very far to go, you should cash it in with points. Brandon Aubrey now for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. They had the short field and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. 
They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others, where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Here's a second and nine now from the 29. Here's Watson. He's got the connection to Moore. So five yards here, five on the play. And now we've got a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Now it's Watson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Cooper's first catch, and good for a first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. Here's Watson. This one complete to Jerry Judy. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll bring up second down. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. So the completion gets him just a yard. And now it's third and three. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. Oh, and now some space to operate. There's the stiff arm. 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. 42 yards for Nick Chubb. And the Browns are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. So that CD, that was impressive. He got out of three, maybe four tackles there on his way to the end zone. And a lot of times when you break a tackle or slip a tackle, it actually slows you down. That's what we were taught. If you don't make the play, make him stop his feet so someone else can get there and tackle him. But not here. He just kept right on going. Dustin Hopkins on now to add the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. That time, a six-play drive. And Nick Chubb, the one to finish it off, as he does so with a touchdown run. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. He's got one touchdown pass already in this quarter. Obviously looking for number two, and definitely not playing the check down game. Second and ten. Prescott. Left side to Lamb. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Lamb's first catch of the game. Good for a first down. 
And Lamb took his game a step further a season ago with career highs in yards, touchdowns, and catches. 135, the most in the league. He wears number 88 on his jersey. That means he is wide receiver one for the Dallas Cowboys. The next thing he wants to add, leading his team to a Super Bowl. A first down carry by Elliott. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. The defensive line made pretty easy work of the offensive line that time. And people get tired of the cliche that the battle is won in the trenches. But it's a cliche because it's true. And how about the battle right there? One on the edge. And the ball carrier did not benefit. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. It'll be a gain of just a yard. And third and eight now. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it. You tackle them. They go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where Every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession. They'll see about converting this third and eight, as they've got it as we resume action. Throwing, Prescott. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. A good-looking drive for the Cowboys so far. It's a first down. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Here's Prescott. Finding Elliott for the catch on the out route. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. They get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. And Elliott trying to work his way forward, but it looks like he did not make it. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. I apologize in advance, partner, but the beef eaters on the interior of this D-line, you just know they were licking their chops on third and short. And yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. Well, we got beef eaters licking their chops and tasty dish in one fell swoop. I did apologize in advance, didn't I? Yeah, you did. That line's not eating tofu, I'll tell you that much for free. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And he won't quite make it to the 25. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm willing to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn it into a play action, and throw one deep. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. And how about once he made the decision to go, 
He committed to it and went. Let's face it. Most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. A shotgun snap for Watson. That pass complete to Moore. And yeah, they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. This short pass into the hands of Njoku. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Two minutes remaining in the first half, 10-7, our score. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Right back to Njoku. And he's able to break out of one tackle but then quickly brought down. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and it's second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Now second and nine. Again, it's Watson. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half. But the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. To throw is Watson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Watson. Quick slant to Chubb. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. The defense was ready for the back to leak out and even had a second player waiting to double him up. If you're going to commit to doubling a back, you better prevent a completion, but give him credit. Extra determination, extra effort, turn it into a successful play. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. Watson looks to throw again. He's got a man complete. It's Amari Cooper. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Back to throw, Watson. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. Now Watson. And it's intercepted at the goal line. 
And the Cowboys are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game, and that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. And the Cowboys going to go on offense one final time in this first half. And leading 10-7, they may just want to get this to the locker room. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Following the interception, here's Prescott. Out right, he finds Tolbert. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. This time they'll just keep this on the ground. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as he gets it up past the 35. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Cowboys out on top. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This was a very level first half, and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. A good tight football game thus far. 10-7 to score as we resume action on EA Sports. And he returns this to the 22. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Prescott to throw it. On the out route, it's Lamb with a grab. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield to the 43, second down. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the past, but in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right, it might go to them in this game. I like that, MVU. Well done. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. It's a gain of 34. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Going right back to Ferguson. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. 
Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And the Cowboys are going to have a first and goal forthcoming as he takes this down to about the five-yard line. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that plan any down. They'll set up to run the quarterback draw. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Here's Prescott. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Prescott on third and goal. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Cowboys take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Aubrey now for the PAT. It's good to make it 17-7. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it's finished off by the touchdown from C.D. Lamb. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And able to get this out to the 25. The Browns offense and their quarterback Deshaun Watson set to take over once more. And it's been a struggle for him all afternoon. This defense has really done a nice job of making him earn everything he gets. And it's prevented him from getting into any kind of rhythm here today. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. Uh, that's the kind of play this offense desperately needed. They've got to be saying... Our defense has kept us in the ball game. We're down, but we're certainly not out. And maybe that was the spark that they've been searching for. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 as they're down to the 29-yard line. Watson now to throw. Oh, and the throw led him too much that time. It's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. They give the chub out of the gun. And he'll be brought down at about the 25 after a pickup of four. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. 
Here's Watson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. But well, they certainly not shied away from throwing the football as they've leaned on their quarterback to start this game. Four straight passes right out of the gate, with that last one earning them a new set of downs. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. From the gun, here's Watson. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Elijah Moore from a yard out. And the Browns are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter and gets them right back in this football game. And I think we can safely call that a statement drive because they had to be saying, we have put our best foot forward in the first half, but we certainly mean business now. Maybe a better term, a prove it drive. They proved it to themselves that they were ready to go. Now it's Hopkins to add the extra point. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And it was finished off by Elijah Moore on the touchdown reception. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And they finally get to him out near midfield, but he's all the way across the 45 to the 46. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys' offense. There we go. Oh, Elliott going to be hit. He coughs it up. Loose football. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And it's a big turnover there on the final play of the quarter. And we're back now here in Cleveland. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Following the fumble recovery, Watson. And he'll get this one to Cooper complete. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. A very solid gain of 27. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. On first down, they'll run with Chubb, and he is going to lose yardage here. And the tackle for loss goes to Eric Kendricks. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense was pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame wolfing has turned into results. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. They run it again with Chubb. And yeah, not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. It's a gain of maybe three, but it's going to leave them with still about eight or nine to go on third down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. On the jet sweep, here comes Moore. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. From the right hash, this from an even 40 yards out. Hopkins' kick is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. 
I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net, but they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. It looks like a loss of right around 11 there on first down to set him back on second. Well, at least it wasn't a turnover like the last drive. You'd think they'd make an adjustment and be ready to make up for that turnover. Instead, just another big play for the defense on that snap. some hot water now after that sack it's second and 21 now Prescott and that'll be incomplete took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in couldn't hang on third down well, that's where this Cleveland crowd, the dog pound in particular, make it difficult on opposing offenses. It looked like they might have had troubles communicating at the line, and it leads to the incompletion. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Throwing. Prescott. And that's incomplete. The defense did their job. Fourth quarter, big stand. No doubt about it because the offense has been yelling at it from the sideline. Just do us a favor. Get us the ball back. Give us one more chance to take it downfield. The defense just did them a solid, it appears. And when they get the ball back, they can kind of play free tie game. They're not behind. On to punt now. Anger as he boots this one away. 42 yards on the punt, just two on the return. And the Browns will take over, first and 10. Heading out as the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity, all tied in the fourth quarter. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb, and he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. We knew both of these safeties were good in run support, but how about the play we just saw there? How about that closing speed? Able to get to the outside part of the field and turn that play into a loss. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Here's Watson. Over the middle, complete to Judy. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. Now it's Watson. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Well, the defense certainly did its job. They held up in that situation, and now fourth down, you've got to punt this and try to get to overtime. There's no decision to be made, in my estimation. The Browns send out their punter now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. And now here come the Cowboys. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, 
the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. That's complete to Lamb. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. They come up now on second and two. Now Prescott. He's got Elliott, and he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Here's first down. Now Dak. This throw left side is caught by Tolbert. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. This is first and ten. Up the middle, here's Elliott. And he is going to lose yardage here. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here's second down. Tenth carry now for Elliott. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. The dog pound barking as loud as they can here. Third down. Again, it's Elliott. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. Inside give to Elliott. And he's in for the touchdown. And in the final seconds, forget overtime. They just likely won this thing in regulation. And that score in this time frame, that's like a big reveal at the end of a great movie, isn't it? <laughs> Out of nowhere almost, it appears. They get it done. How about that score? The finishes like this, this is why we love sports. This is why we love the game of football. So glad that we got to be here to watch this one. Aubrey now for the point after. And it would appear they're going to get out of here with a come-from-behind victory. So that drive goes eight plays, and it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. They'll come up first and ten here. And now we've got flags down. Looked like one of the Browns might have moved. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. 
Penalties not what they needed here. First and 15. Now Watson. Able to find Judy. And with just inside of 10 seconds to go, they'll burn their final timeout. Nine seconds left. Here comes second down. Watson. And that is incomplete, stopping the clock with five seconds to go. So after all of this, it comes down to one final play. And just think of what it's going to be, because from this distance, you've got to be prepared for everything. Hook and laterals, tip balls, you name it. A lot of laterals after a catch. Just got to be prepared, stay on your feet defensively, and tackle someone. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. And a fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done but a nice game overall. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gauden. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long from Cleveland.